Rescue Data and Repair, my name is still Dr. Ben. Happy welcome in 2026 and we start directly with a new, vi new video. iPhone 13 mini came in that completely. Customer needs the important data. Let's directly go. <coughs> so 2025 passed away. We are now in 2026 and we start directly with new content for the English channel. channel. Um, or international channel. This device was mailed in by customer because it um, has no function anymore at all. And um, yeah, so another another repair shop said that there is no day recovery possible on this device and no repair possible on this device. And I just want to check if it's really like that. Normally it isn't. Because the device was shutting down immediately and um, I don't know if there is a short circuit on the board. I want to prevent anything like or things like burnt in traces. So I first open the device before I connect it to USB power and just check if we really have a short circuit or not. Perhaps it's a only a um, issue with uh, the screen or whatever. I don't know at this point. So let's directly check. So I disconnect the battery at first. Then I just do a quick measurement here in diet mode. And here on the front we have um, plus. So we need um, iPhone 13. And I just want to check to connect it in the right way. I do it always like that. So we need to connect from here. And if we activate, we have no short circuit on VDD main. If I try to boot, we directly go to 1.9 amps on the power supply. So we know we don't have a short circuit on power positive VDD main, but we have a short circuit probably perhaps um, on the NAND rail, whatever, um, I just try to figure out where the issue is. By the way, we have snow here in Germany and um, yeah, it's nice for the kids. So um, a little bit more would be nice because then we could uh, use uh, Schlitten. I don't know in, in English, um, but yeah, so kids have fun. That's all what counts. So tell me, do you have kids too? Do you love them too? Or sure you love them, but do you like to, to see them growing up and everything what's, uh, what's connected with it? So for me, it's the best in the world to see them growing up. We go to the Kian Li IR and we just start the app. And now I just want to see if we really have a is an issue with um, with an end rail or not. So I connect here. Let's see, perhaps we have some different issue, whatever. So I connect the cord here, activate the output, and what did I say? It's a really fast video, perhaps it's boring for you. Let's see under the microscope. <laughs> I really thought I have to, uh, um, to separate layers. Perhaps I have to swap it. It's burned in whatever, but it isn't. It's only a small issue, a really small issue with a cap next beside to the NAND flash. So just an issue with an end rail and I think it was lighting up here not the big one I think it was the small one we just check that again to don't take out the cap which is not needed to be taken out so and again like this okay and 
and what did we see what do we see it's a small cap and now please just see how the temperature goes up and that's why i say traces can burn in in such such situations let's see 130 degrees within two seconds that's pretty hard so always be aware of how to handle them so and we can see that this one is just burned completely and what do we do to solve it we just take out the cap here okay that's all no more needed so customer wants to get a device which is working and which has data on it so let's check let's check if now the phone wants to work again because this is a really small repair and i'm pretty sure within this year we will do a lot of cpu stuff together we will do macbooks together we will do um, hdds together we will do ssds together so we will have a lot of stuff to do um, but we start with a little thing like you see and i just connect the power cord let's see if this phone wants to work again and we can see that the battery logo is here so it charges again that's pretty fine that's pretty fine at this point so let's start it by taking the power supply because I just want to show you that it boots up again and I don't want to wait for charging the battery within this video so let us get the right cord again and let us boot up the phone and I just hit the power button and we will see an Apple, Apple within a short time. Come on, we see an Apple. And that's pretty good because our customer wants to get all the data on this phone, all his pictures and whatever. And he can now use the phone again and has data access. And what the other repair shop said that this is not possible was just not correct like you see it works fine again thanks for watching thanks for watching people <clears throat> i'm pretty happy to be back and trust me this was a little issue we will come to much 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 bigger issues it was not planned so company is closed actually that's why you only see packages and you didn't uh, you don't see lights on the other tables because we are closed so i came down just to do a video with you and um, we will restart in 2026 the upcoming monday on the 5th of january that's uh, when we are officially back and start repairing and um, saving data for people again Actually, we are closed and I just came down here to do a little w video with you. I hope that you like it. If you have questions, just hit me up in the comments. If you got HDDs, SSDs, MacBooks, whatever, go to rescue-repair.com, click on create order, mail in your device. We definitely can help you. And we will see us with the next video the upcoming week. Yours, Dr. Ben. Have a nice time.